everyone, this is a Fuzzmaster for a editing tutorial on gameplay. It's a very basic, so all you pros out there, just wait for part two. Alright, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the Fuzzmaster. I have some cool videos. Also, click the bell and like this video. Okay, let's get into the stuff. Alright, so basically you just want to start out, you start out with a thing. Once you've got a little level template, you can select the mode. And also you can select the song, any of the in-game songs. You got X-Step, whatever. And also, if you want to choose your own song, you can go ahead and get Newgrounds code in. There you go. Let's just listen to our song here. Same song as I'm playing in the background, but that doesn't really matter. So anyways, that's how you play the song, that little top uh, left corner, and also that's how you test out the level. So you can choose your color like that. I always like to start out with black and the ground is some other color. This is how you go around with the color. You can basically see it's pretty simple. And that's how you select background. It's always good to choose a 2.0 or 2.1 background. So also it's good always choose a double ground because Single grounds are kind of boring. Also, you want to um, choose a good speed to start it off. How how does the song start off in the le in the level? And this fits perfectly. This little bit of slowness. It starts slow and it gets fast later. All right. So this is how you test it out. Right there, you can see that there's room for a ball to go an orb to go right there, and you see there there we go and now you can add some other stuff whatever you feel like and yeah so there look look at that that's perfect it's a very good beginning to your level for all the beginners it doesn't really matter if you have timing I'm just getting you in the hang of it but if you're a pro stay tuned for part two So this here is the start position. It's if you can't test the whole thing, if the level's too long, all you do is press your start position and choose your mode, and you can start later for testing. All right, next is the wave. So you can basically copy and paste a UFO and you've got yourself a good wave here. There you go. That's good wave, that's good enough, but you're going to want to speed it up and add some more stuff, more complicated stuff. We just want to copy and paste this wave gameplay because the longer the level, the better. And there you have a little wave gameplay. Next, we're going to be doing the robot. Also, I'm going to show this is how you rotate 45 degrees. This is you can make it any size. That's how you rotate it any degrees you want. Bottom left corner is rotate. 
Now let's just make a few robot, a bit of a robot gameplay. It's always good to have at least two ship parts because that's just the thing that happens in levels. And the spider part is very short usually, and there's only one. You rarely see a level with two spider parts. to make sure everything works out properly. Alright, every time it's very important with spider gameplay. I even noticed that a lot of people just make the things way too far apart. But you actually make, you sh it's not the ball, you should make them very close together. Because spiders can go very quickly in between things, if you know what I'm saying. If you notice, very close. Also, it's always good to put spikes on so people don't cheat. Alright, I think we're ready to test this out. Looking good. Alright everyone, stay tuned for next time where we get better making levels. So all the slightly better at this. You guys are in for a treat because next time we are working with triggers and color. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos by the Fuzzmaster. Also, like and subscribe for more. Click the bell. Goodbye.